So today I'm going to be doing a comparison of the Hermes her bag and the Hermes Birkin. I recently got both of these bags this year. Um, I've had uh, the her bag for quite a few months now and I've had the Birkin for about a month and or two months now sort of around that sort of time. So I've used them enough now I think to actually fully give them a comparison and give them a review and tell you what I think of them. Um, in general terms because um, I have tested them out and road tested them uh, and worn them on numerous occasions already so I kind of already feel like I um, have a good feel for how they work for me and how they would work for you if you also got these bags. So yeah um, I'm going to be comparing the Birkin and the her bag and Usually the her bag isn't compared to the Birkin and um, normally it's compared to the Kelly bag from Hermes because it's actually like more of a similar style to the Hermes Kelly bag. Um, but today I'm going to be comparing it to my Birkin 40 and yeah just comparing the two together. So yeah I actually got the her bag before I got the Birkin and um, I always had wanted a Birkin bag to be honest or uh, now a Koa bag or whatever this kind of style um, but then I saw that they had the all black with gold hardware her bag and I was like oh that's amazing this will be easier to get than a Birkin like the price is much more affordable than a Birkin it's a lot cheaper this was around £2,000 which is still a lot for a bag but for an Hermes bag it's much more affordable um, so I was like yeah I really really want to get this bag so I've done a, a video of me getting this bag as well if you want to see that um, but yes, having used the bag, I know a lot of people worry with this particular bag that um, about the closure on the bag. So I thought I'd talk a bit about that because I know it's quite a big concern for people. Um, and it is an annoying closure. So basically it has these little sangly type things that you have to open in order to get into the bag. And then you have to pull this bit open like that and then open that bit. So it's kind of a bit of a faff to get into the bag. Um, but it does have this zip on the back that you can put like your phone into or your wallet or things like that and to access them easily. But I actually don't really tend to do that. I'm not sure why. I just like to kind of put everything in the center of the bag. I might eventually put things in the back of the bag, but I don't actually grab for my phone all the time. I know a lot of people like do, but I just don't. So for me, like, yeah, it probably is more practical. Maybe eventually I will get around to like putting things in the back, but normally I just put things inside. And then what I do is I close the bag. Basically I close it like that and then I just do it like this. So that is how I usually, then this is a little clochette. That is how I usually just close the bag when I'm like walking around with the bag. Like it usually looks like this, which I think still honestly looks nice. And to get into the bag, you just lift this up and then pull that out. And it's quite easy. And you, you can actually walk around with the bag like this. Obviously it doesn't look great, but if you're like in a shop or something and you know you're gonna like need your wallet or your phone or something again in the minute then you just kind of leave it open like this while you're in the shop and then once once I leave the shop I close it up and then like walk around you know and um, yeah I generally when I'm out I don't really completely close up the bag um, I usually just leave it like this because I think it's easier but maybe if I put things in the back then I would reach for it more but at the moment as well I find that because we have to use like hand sanitizer and stuff I usually keep my hand sanitizer like in my makeup bag um, so basically I find that I'm just like I want to get inside the bag I could put the hand sanitizer in here I suppose but I don't know I just don't um, so yeah and I also don't keep the um, lock on the back of this bag because I've heard that if you do keep it there it can scratch the leather and um, I didn't want to do that 
So I just keep it um, here now. Oh, you can see this is one problem about this flat is that thing, it often gets caught in the flat. Like this clochette often, if you close it, it gets caught in the flap when you close it. So you have to kind of move it to the back, which is another thing. So yeah, I, it does seem more faffy than it is. Like I think the look of it is worth it. It does seem like more faff than um, it is. It's not actually that much faff. And if you kept things in the back, it wouldn't be a lot of faff. But at the moment we're using a lot of hand sanitizers and we were having to wear like masks and things. So I used to just put that inside the middle of the bag. Um, but no, I really love this bag and the fact that it has the shoulder strap as well. I, I actually dreamt, generally wear it on the shoulder strap. Um, so yeah, I think that's a real advantage of this bag versus the Birkin, which doesn't have a shoulder strap and you have to hold it either um, in the crook of your arm like this or um, like down in your hand. So yeah, that's one thing about the Birkin, which is a little bit of a disadvantage, is um, it doesn't have a shoulder strap. Although I don't think it would look nice with a shoulder strap. But um, yeah, this is obviously like a Birkin, this is the Birkin 40. So this is a really big size and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get the 35 or the 40. And I, ever, I ended up getting offered the 40 and then obviously buying the 40. Um, I didn't actually put down on my wish list for a Togo Birkin 35 because I felt like that is just such a go-to for an MS Birkin. Like it just feels like the most obvious one to get and I just felt like I don't want to be like that basic. I want something that... And that fewer people have the size 40. Um, when I... Um, inquired about getting a Birkin. The sales associate did say to me, you know, the Birkin 40 is like a travel size, basically. It's not really that practical for every day. And um, I thought, you know, like, yeah, that's, I thought, I thought, well, I like the look of larger bags, so that doesn't bother me too much. Um, and I know that larger bags aren't really as desirable or trendy at the moment, and they were like, you know, very trendy in the 2000s and not as trendy now. Um, but trendy isn't really that important I, when I think you're buying like a Birkin, you know, like Birkins, you know, they're t kind of timeless. But anyway, that's irrelevant. What I want to say about the 40 is like, I do really like the size on me, um, but I do feel as though it is quite big and um, one thing I wanted to show you as well is kind of like what fits inside. So I'll take this thing and everything out. So this bag fits like, well, I'm not going to show you like putting loads of stuff in it because I think that's a bit unnecessary because this bag will just fit like so much stuff. I could never even fill it. Um, so I just thought I'd show you like in comparison with like a makeup bag. This is the Louis Vuitton toiletry now 19, um, which is like just a regular standard size makeup bag. And as you can see, if I put that in the bag, generally I like to like have things standing up in the bag, but this, this makeup bag just sort of falls over a lot. But you can see like it doesn't take up, can you see it? It's kind of a bit dark, but um, you can't even see the bottom of the bag because that's how big it is. Um, can you see that now? No, you can't even see it. It's just a big black hole of a bag. And um, yeah, I think that in terms of like, I like the look of the 40. Like I think it looks really great when you wear it. Um, but I do think it's actually unnecessarily big inside. Like you can fit so much because the side of the bag is so wide and it comes out so far you it's just so big like um and i don't think that's a problem but also a lot of people have said as well about the birkins is that because they are leather lined on the inside um and the leather itself is quite heavy and obviously you've got like all of the hardware as well the bags are quite heavy and I would say that is true. I haven't found that like 
I um, end up feeling like it's too heavy by the end of the day and I just want to put it down. But I haven't so far overstuffed this bag. I've kept very minimal things in it. Um, but then it does kind of feel like why have you got such a big bag if you're only carrying around like a few things in it. So I do think for most people um, it's probably a bit big. Um, I like the look of how big it is but then even for me like I can't even fill it. And I do think if you did fill it like a, with a lot of stuff, I mean I don't even know what you could put in here that would fill it up. But um, it would be extremely heavy. Now, I don't, and I don't, I mean, unless you're traveling like to Paris on the Eurostar, I don't think this would be a great travel bag either because it's kind of like pre too precious for a travel bag. Travel bags can get like knocked around and things like that. So um, I would probably wear a different bag if I was traveling, unless I wanted to be like super bougie when I was traveling or something. Um, but I, I don't think I'd take it on a plane um, because where would you put it and you know, um, you don't want to like put it under the seat or anything because then it could get damaged. So yeah, I, I like the look of it and I think if you like the look of the 40 then it's justifiable but um, the size is unnecessarily big. I also do like the 35 and I think if I was to ever get a Birkin again I would get a 35. Um, I wouldn't buy another 40, but I do really like the, um, the Birkin 40 in the Togo leather and I do think it's a little bit more interesting and a bit more, um, I don't know, I just like how the Togo looks in the 40, I just think it looks all floppy and big and yeah, so but if, I'm not saying I'm, I'm dissatisfied with the size of the bag, I just think that it's quite big when you're like holding the bag in the crook of your arm and it comes out quite far from the body when you do that. And I think, I don't particularly like holding it in the crook of my arm. Um, and I do wear these two bags actually quite differently. So um, I, will, I wanna show you in the cutaway how I actually wear these bags because I generally tend to wear the her bag um, on the shoulder strap because I just find that I don't know, I just find it is easier to wear like that instead of, especially at the moment because we're more conscious of like touching things and stuff. I think that hand holding a bag is kind of unnecessary to like touch, because you don't want to touch things and then touch your bag and stuff like that. So the shoulder strap is really good because you don't have to like hand hold the bag all the time. You can just put it on your shoulder and I still think it looks really cute and chic and sophisticated but you can obviously hold it um, by the handle as well but I don't tend to do that and I don't tend to wear it in the crook of my arm either um, I just I, I prefer it like on the shoulder so I do wear them quite differently um, and then the Birkin 40 I tend to wear this bag like just handheld um, which is annoying at the moment because I don't really like hand holding it because I don't want to be holding the handle all the time because of like hand sanitizer and things like that. That's one thing that uh, it, at the moment isn't great because I find holding it in the crook of your arm as well. Like when I hold it in my crook, in the, uh, crook of the arm I just feel like it comes out too far from the body and it kind of protrudes quite a lot and I think it looks very kind of like 2000s like big bag trend thing and I, so that's why I think it looks much cooler when you hold it um, by the hand just like at arm's length. I think that looks really cool and really chic and like just super cool because it's just so big and yeah and floppy and slouchy and it just looks really chic and cool. Um, so yeah but I do think like because I do wear these bags quite differently I do think that potentially if I was ever to get another Hermes bag again, um, it would probably be a Birkin 35. But I don't, I wouldn't get it in Togo because I've already got Togo, so it'd have to be a different leather, I think. But it, I'm really happy with the Birkin that I have, and um, I'm at, definitely not looking for another Birkin now, like this one was enough as it is. And even if I never had another Birkin again, I would be happy with this one. Um, 
But yeah, and I don't think I would have been happy with it in the Togo in the 35 because I just feel like it's too obvious. And it's, I know it's not that different from this, but I don't know, I just like the Togo in the, 30, in the 40 size. So yeah, that's a bit of comparison about the sizes and things like that. So I thought I'd also show you inside the um, her bag as well, because I didn't really show you that. So um, it comes with this little pouch, which is useful, but I haven't used it. I don't tend to like use, I just kind of like shove everything inside the middle of the bag, unless it has like a pocket or something inside. I tend to just throw everything in. So this is the makeup bag and this fits like fine. What I quite like about the her bag versus the Birkin, um, if you can see, is like everything kind of stands up inside the bag and I quite like that with my bags. I quite like having everything stood up so then when you get into the bag, you can just reach for it and get it out very easily. Um, so yeah, and I think everything is, um, really well kept um, and easy to get to and I never feel like with this bag that I can't fit enough things inside it as well like I can definitely fit everything I would want to fit in this bag it's not a case of it being because it's smaller I'm um, not being able to fit enough because I definitely can fit enough so in t one of the other things I wanted to talk about is in terms of like the construction and the quality of the bags and the prices of the bags and do I think, which one do I think is better, which one do I think the price is more justified for um, and, and everything like that because obviously they are two very different price points for these bags and um, it's obviously a consideration when you're considering which one to get. So, um, in terms of the construction and the quality and everything like that, like, obviously the Birkin wins in terms of quality, construction. Now, I don't really like to use the word quality when I'm talking about these bags because they are both incredible, incredible quality. Like, these two bags are the best quality bags I have ever owned. Both of them are incredible 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 quality like there is nothing about the quality of these bags which is in any way inferior it is completely superior to any other bag i've ever owned so when i say the word quality I'm, i i actually don't mean quality what i'm saying is like construction and stuff like that so obviously the two bags are constructed completely differently so um and I think that's a lot of the, the consideration when you're thinking about the price of these bags and how they compare in that sense because the, there is a lot more construction and craftsmanship that goes into making a Birkin than goes into making an Hermes uh, her bag. Um, and I think that's a really interesting thing about Hermes is that I actually don't think they ever scrimp on the quality. They, they actually like reduce how much the bag or whatever it is needs to be constructed and that's why it will end up being cheaper or whatever it's not that they scrimp on the the quality of the of the um, materials or the construction or the, you know the stitching or anything so this bag the her bag needs a lot less craftsmanship than the birkin because um Basically, the leather parts of this bag requ require no stitching whatsoever. Like, this piece of leather is one entire piece of leather. This piece of leather is two pieces of leather. This is one piece of leather. So, there is no, um, and even this part here, the sangle bit, that's also one entire piece of leather. So, basically, they just cut those pieces of leather out and then they just lay them out and then they eventually construct the bag. So the only part of the bag that's actually sewn together is this material canvas part of the bag, um, which is sewn on the inside. Um, and I'm not sure like if, I know with the Birkin bags, they're all stitched by hand, but I, I'm not sure with the, um, the her back, if maybe they use, they use a machine to stitch it, I'm not entirely sure. 
I mean, I would assume it would be easier and stuff to just stitch it. Yeah, I'm almost certain they'd use a machine to stitch it because if you look at this part of the bag here, um, if I can show you, this bit here is definitely must be a machine stitch, I would think. Um, so obviously if it's machine stitch, then that's a lot less work as well. So, um, like I say, these two bags don't scrimp on the um, construction, like um, on the quality, they're both incredibly good quality. Like the materials that they use are really good quality and the construction of the bags. But the, the reason the, the Birkin is more expensive is because it takes um, a lot more time and work for a craftsman to create. So um, all of the bag is hand stitched. Um, the inside is completely leather. So all of this is, needs to be cut out and stitched together. And I believe that the base is made of wood as well. I'm not, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So there is so much more work that goes into making this bag and um, also there's a lot more leather on the bag as well like the bag is entirely leather inside entirely leather outside um, and also I think the quality of the leather is much higher as well so when you're thinking about the price comparison of the the her bag and the Birkin that's one thing definitely to bear in mind is that there is a justifiable reason why this Birkin bag is more expensive than the her bag because they're just entirely different things you know um, so yes and they are wildly different in price they are I think to be fair if you want a Birkin then you're always going to want a Birkin. Like, that's kind of how I felt with this. Like, I, I still wanted a Birkin after I had this, but I still have a place for this. So it's not like because I have this, I don't want, um, I don't, like, want it anymore. I still absolutely love it. And I think, for me, this is perfect instead of a Kelly bag, because for me, the Kelly is just not really my style. I think this has a much more casual look. And that's the other thing to think about as well, if you're thinking about one of these bags, um, is I actually think that the Her bag is a really great everyday bag, um, and it can suit every occasion. Well, not necessarily every occasion, because I don't think it's particularly great for a formal occasion, but then I guess this bag wouldn't be great for a formal occasion either, because it's so big. Um, but I think that wherever you go with the her bag, you'll be fine um, and you won't feel self-conscious and you won't feel um, like, obviously I live in London and not all of the areas of London are particularly safe to be in uh, with an extremely expensive bag. So I do feel like with this bag, I don't, I feel like you could wear it absolutely anywhere in London and you wouldn't have a problem really. Um, like, I don't think it would draw too much attention to you or make you too much of a target. Um, but if you're wearing, uh, you know, this bag, for instance, the Birkin, um, it's obviously a lot more expensive and some people might know that and you don't want to become a target. One thing that is an advantage for the her bag is that you can wear it everywhere and not feel self-conscious about wearing it because generally the price of it is similar to a lot of other designer bags so it's not really any different to that yeah i think it really depends on your lifestyle as well like if you're the type of person that's driving around in a chauffeur driven car all day long and you don't ever need to get on the tube or go through a dodgy part of town then the birkin <laughs> is absolutely fine for you. And I'm not saying that you can't wear the Birkin on the tube or you can't, you know, wear it on public transport or you can't go to certain parts of town. I mean, I think you you can, but like, it's at your own risk. Um, but that's what I mean. The Birkin, the her bag is a bag that can be worn for any occasion in any place. I mean, I wouldn't say it's good for formal occasion, but um, I don't think either of these bags are really formal occasion bags. Um, but yeah, it, just, it does depend on your lifestyle. I think that this bag, the her bag, would suit a lot more people's lifestyle. And you know, the her bag is easier to get from Hermes. Um, 
maybe not in this colorway. I don't know how difficult this colorway to get is. I mean, I would think it might be more difficult now than when I originally got it. Um, but it does come in a lot of colorways. And so, you know, if you're not, you know, you, if you don't necessarily have to have this exact colorway, then it might be a bit easier for you to get one. Um, obviously with the Birkin, I put down a wish and the bag happened to come in, but that's not necessarily going to be the case for any bag that you want to get from Hermes. Um, other certain smaller bags, certain colours are much harder to get. I think I was lucky um, when I got this bag because um, I think the larger bags are not as popular. I think because um, the UK hadn't really opened up for tourists as much at the time that I put in uh, my wish for it, that maybe um, it was a bit easier because there wasn't as many tourists here so they were selling to um, customers that were based in London um, they, they were more likely to sell to you um, if you were based in London I think so uh, yeah I think that uh, it's generally luck with Hermes um, I think that in the UK we have the wish system which makes it a bit easier to get bags um, but I think that I've just, I have been very lucky with the bags that I've gotten um, like I say there's not that many other bags I'd like to get from Hermes um, I mean there are a few I might get I may be cons I may get another Birkin in the future I may get a Constance in the future but um, I'm happy with the bags that I have but yeah I think it really does depend on your lifestyle um, for me personally I it's not that I wouldn't wear the Birkin on the tube I probably would because that's my lifestyle but at the moment I'm not uh, I'm not that's just really because I'm not taking the tube as much at the moment anyway um, I am still taking the tube but not as much so yeah it really does depend on your lifestyle and I also feel like this is a bag that might not be the best to travel with because you don't want to become a target in a country that you're unfamiliar with or anything like that so um, yeah I think that it, the Birkin isn't right for everybody's lifestyle and I think that's one thing about it like also has to be right for your lifestyle um, you know and obviously, a lot of people talk about the, the journey of getting a Birkin or a Kelly bag. But, you know, it also has to be about that it's right for your lifestyle as well. Um, because otherwise, you're not going to keep the bag and you're not going to love the bag. Um, and you're not going to use the bag, potentially. So, yeah, but um, it does suit my lifestyle at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I think... Well, I love the bag. I've always wanted a Birkin, so that's really all that matters to me. Um, but yeah, I think the her bag, especially in this colourway, is absolutely incredible. But I wouldn't probably get the, this bag in any other colourway, but then I probably wouldn't get a Birkin in any other colourway either. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously I can't talk about the smaller sizes of the Birkin, and I can't talk about the larger size is of the her bag i mean there is only one other size that would be good i think which is the size 39 i did try it on i think it's too big i think to be fair the good thing about the her bag as well is i really do think this is the best size to get so it makes it much easier you don't have to think about the sizes as much um i would just say i would say get this one get the 31 if you're considering the her bag because i think this is the best in terms of size like um, the other one is bigger, but it's more satchel-like. I just think it doesn't quite look as cute. Um, in terms of like, how does this compare to uh, Kelly? Similarly to how it compares to the Birkin, um, you know, the construction is entirely different. It's a different bag, but it's more casual. I think also that the Kelly is quite feminine, and I don't think that the her bag is as feminine as the Kelly. Um, so yeah, um, what else can I say? This obviously comes with a raincoat, which the um, her bag doesn't come with. Um, it has a zipper on the inside. Um, yeah, the closure, I haven't talked about that on the Birkin either. But most of the time, most people just leave the Birkin open like this, which is why I haven't even bothered to talk about the closure, because most of the time people don't even use the closure. Um, but this is how you would actually close the bag. And I 
I haven't really. I don't even close the bag to like put it back in my closet. This is quite a lot of faff. I mean, if you think the her bag is faff, I actually think the closure for the Birkin is probably more faffy because if you use it, I mean, obviously the Birkin closure most people don't use, but if you actually use the closure, it's even more faff than the Birkin, the her bag closure is. I think the her bag is actually easier to close than the Birkin. Um, some people like the look of the closed Birkin, but um, I can't even be bothered to close it. Like now, even doing it now, I can't really be bothered. Like, it is so much math. Like, no one will ever... This is why you never see anyone with their clothes. Like, on the street. Because it is the biggest pain. So yeah, that's how... See, now this bit is stuck. I need to get that out. See, this is actually more faff. So people say the hair bag is, looks like a lot faff. This is more faff. And I do understand that for the most part, people don't leave it open, uh, closed. But there you go. So that's that closed. And then I can close the, the hair bag up as well. This is so much easier. Like, this is a lot easier to close. Like, you just go like that. And then you just close this one. So yeah, see, that's just like took me like two seconds, whereas it took me forever to close the book in. So yeah, those, that's my little comparison. Um, it's funny when I actually like got the Birkin and I was like, I had my hair bag with me and I was like, I just want to compare it to the Birkin and they were like, oh, there is no comparison. I mean, the Birkin is, you know, the be all end all bag. Um, but I really think there is a place for the her bag. I, I actually really love it. I think it's a great bag. But, um, you know, if you want a Birkin, you want a Birkin. So, yeah, that's my little review, comparison of the Birkin and the her bag. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about um, the bags that I featured. And, um, you know, any comparisons that you want to know um, my opinions on, um, I will uh, reply to your comments. So, yeah, that's all for this video, and I will see you in my next one.